In order to succeed on Amazon, you need to learn how to create the perfect ad campaign. That's why I decided to create a new series on the channel called PPC to Win with my friend and fellow Amazon seller, CEO of MMA Nutrition, as well as founder of PPC University, Mina Elias. In this video, episode one, we're going to be talking about a general overview of PPC ads. Why should you do PPC ads? Why are they important? And why are they the secret to success on Amazon anywhere and everywhere, but especially in the Middle East? Let's get started. So Mina, we're going to be talking about everything PPC in this special series that we are doing together for the channel. Thank you so much, first of all, for your time. Second of all, let's just jump straight into it. Let's talk about PPC ads and let's start with the actual terminology. What exactly is a PPC ad first off? And is it something that everybody needs to do no matter what when they start selling on Amazon? Okay, so um, Amazon has become pay to play. And so what that means is it used to be nice and fun where you could put up a product and then rank organically and then make a lot of money. But then they changed it because now they have a huge demand of third party sellers. So they they're now making it competitive. And so you have to pay for advertisements. So absolutely PPC is necessary. Um, and PPC, basically, if you search something like a keyword, let's say iPhone case, you're going to see the top of the search is going to have three products that say sponsored on them. And if you click on one of them, scroll down, you're going to see under right under that list, like when you look at the image in the description, right under that, you're going to see sponsored products related to this item. So those are two of the most commonly uh, like available positions for advertisements on Amazon. And basically there's two parts to Amazon, right? To make money. The first part is the, the listing optimization. And that's where we get our conversion rate. So people want to buy our product. But then the second part is getting people to that listing and getting yeah. people to that listing. That's Amazon PPC. You can obviously send traffic from outside Facebook is there is going to be much harder than just trying to funnel the people who are on Amazon already like looking for your product. Like they're already typing for an iPhone case. They want to buy an iPhone case. Might as well show them your iPhone case right there in front of them. And so, Here's the general, like broad, un, like, you know, overview of Amazon PPC. You want to appear for as many keywords and products as possible. So any, anyone who might possibly want your product and searching something, you want to bid on that keyword and then show up for them. So let's say I'm selling like a, a water bottle. If someone even searches water bottle for middle-aged women, for example, like something like out of the blue, no one like... Yeah. Even if that person searches it once, you want to capture every single keyword possible. Mm -hmm. And then I've, once you have all of those keywords and once you have all of the competitors possible, every other possible bottle, then you just want to optimize the bids, tweak the bids, start playing with them because maybe you're bidding a dollar, but now you're spending too much. So you lower the bid a little bit, lower, 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 and now you're profitable. Maybe some keywords are never going to be profitable. You just keep so lowering them until they yeah. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Maybe some of your, you know, uh, product, uh, some of your keywords are like broad and you need to negative them. So we'll get more into that. But basically you have two types of campaigns. The, the, the first type is to even discover all of these products is obviously called discovery campaigns. And that's the auto, the broad and the phrase with the auto. Amazon goes in, it takes stuff in your back end. It looks at your listing. It looks at the words in the listing. It looks at all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and then it says, okay, let me show him everywhere where our algorithm thinks that he's going to convert for a sale. So th that is discovering stuff for us. And the beauty of the Amazon auto campaign is that they have data that we don't have. So they know products who just launched. They know pr products in certain categories that are maybe underperforming. They're like, okay, maybe let's put this guy here. Maybe he's going to start stealing some sales. For like maybe he has a lot of traffic, low conversion rate, because at the end of the day, Amazon wants the sale. So they want the customer to find what they're looking for. Um, the other two discovery campaigns are broad and phrase. Uh, they're keyword campaigns. So what broad is, is let's say you put a water bottle in a, in a, as a keyword. It can add keywords to the beginning at the end. It can remove and substitute keywords 
anywhere it wants and it can switch the positions. So it has the most flexibility with a keyword. You usually get like 70, 80 different variations with broad keywords. Like, so water bottle can be, you know, water container. It can be a black water bottle, a black water bottle for camping. For sports, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. these. So with phrase, it's similar, but the words have to be stuck to each other. So you can switch the position. Water bottle can be bottle water, right? But and you can add and remove stuff at the ends of it, but you can never remove those keywords from each other. So mm -hmm. water and bottle, they have to be stuck to they can, you can reverse the the order, but they have to be stuck to each other. And so because of that, again, with the broad and the phrase, we discover like it triggers for so many different keywords. Amazon's mm -hmm. algorithm kicks in. And so with auto broad and phrase, we discover a lot of keywords and a lot of product targets. Auto also has the ability to discover product targets. So it goes in and it bids in product placements. So it says, okay, uh, you know, this uh, green water bottle, Mina's water bottle would look great under it. So they put me as a sponsor product there. And then if anyone clicks, I'm like, there you go. Someone who was looking at that water bottle was also in interested in my water bottle. So I want to bid on that, that product target as well. Um, and so where, where do you get all this data? You go into the search term report and you have all of the data there available. You take that all out. And for the keywords, you bid again, broad phrase and exact for every single keyword. So there's a misconception that you take keywords, you know, you bid into broad and then you take the keyword from the broad, negative it there, put it in phrase, negative it in phrase, but no, 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 no. The, a keyword in every single match type performs completely differently. It, it's, it's like once you add the match type to the keyword, it's like a different, different thing. Yeah. So don't think that it's the same keyword. It's a different keyword. And so the goal is to get all of the keywords possible and then bid on them in all of the match types. So yeah. bid on them in broad, bid on them in phrase, bid on them in exact. Yeah. And at that point, you're now capturing, you know, everything in the market. Uh, you also want to extract all of the ASINs that you're going to find in the search term report and start bidding on everything. Um, go look at, you know, complementary products. So if I'm selling a water bottle uh, for camping, maybe I'm going to look at, go look at some camping equipment and then bid on, the, on that. So you, you just, the goal is maximum visibility and you can track that because you can go into reports business reports mm -hmm. and then on the left where it says uh detail by child asin you can mm -hmm. see your sessions and yeah. if your sessions are steady increasing if even if your conversion rate is the same you're going to be making more sales now obviously the goal is to always improve the conversion rate as well you're obviously going to hit a, a, a cap but the goal is to in increase using PPC, increase the sessions, AKA the number of unique visitors that are coming to your listing. So That's, you know, what you're saying is very important. And I do have a few things that I want to say. First off, the very important thing for people watching this video is that not a lot of people know how to do PPC ads. So spending some time as a seller learning how to do PPC ads, that's just going to put you head and shoulders above other sellers, and it's going to give you an advantage. In, in a fantastic marketplace like the Middle East, you do want that advantage because it's a starting out marketplace, and you know you need to be a shark as fast as possible. Number two, yeah. what you said was, and this is something that's very important, Everything on Amazon is backed up by data. Don't think that you're smart. Don't think that you're smarter than the algorithm, at least. Of course, you're smart. You're selling on Amazon. But at the same time, you need to launch a discovery campaign. So you need to create a PPC auto campaign in order to get that search term report. But one of the questions that a lot of people ask, and I'm sure you're an Amazon seller and you know this, when you first started out, you launch a PPC ad auto campaign and in two days, you're like, oh my God, there's no sales. The search term report is empty. So how long does it take approximately for, you know, how long should you launch an auto campaign and not touch it and then move, move on to uh, creating other types of campaigns? Okay, so a uh, very good question. With my auto campaign, what I do is I break the auto campaign into four four different auto campaigns. Uh, you can see that there's four targeting groups, close match, loose match, complement substitutes. Close match is closely matched uh, search terms. Loose, uh, loose match is loosely matched search terms. Co uh, substitutes is your competitors and complements is complementary products. So I like to break the four off because 
sometimes like my close match and my substitutes will perform amazing and then the uh, loose match and the compliments because they're like not as close uh, they perform horribly so i don't want them to impact each other's performance so i'll just go in and when i'm creating i'll say set bid by targeting group turn on one targeting group turn off the other three and then do that you know another three times yeah. for every single one usually i start with about 100 dollar bid for each targeting group and um you know somewhere in the suggested bid range. So it does not have to be exactly the suggested bid. You can start a little bit lower, maybe 15%, 20% lower, because I don't want you to spend so much right away. Um, but here's the deal. You are pretty much buying data. So you are, you're going to go in there and do not go in with the mindset of, I want to go in there, launch my auto campaign and make money. You're, you're not, you are literally pulling out your wallet and paying Amazon and saying here, please give me data on what kind of people, AKA what kind of keywords and what, what kind of products are they like interested in when they look for my product. And so you're buying that data from Amazon. So your auto campaign will take a, about two weeks. In my opinion, if you're doing a hundred dollar uh, budget and try and start with a big budget, the bigger budget, the better, even if your bid is the same, because Amazon sees a big budget as someone who has the ability to spend more. And so they give you more data and you're not going to spend the entire amount, you know, every single day. Like I don't spend $400 on auto every single day, just because I have a 400, you know, hundred, hundred, hundred uh, bid uh, budget. And so go in there and wait for two weeks, let Amazon collect that data, let the people click and then understand, okay, these people are look like these people who searched, you know, a uh, camping wa water bottle are, the, are more interested in my stuff and do not look at it emotionally. Okay. Do not try and make sense of why someone who is going camping, why wants your water bottle. That's perfect for the house. Do not try and make sense of it. Just look at the data objectively. This keyword, you don't even consider it a word. It's just this keyword has this data. It got five clicks. The ACOS is X amount. The cost per click is this. So now I'm going to take it. I'm going to bid on it because the ACOS was a little bit higher than desired. I'm going to lower the bid. That's it. It does not matter if, you know, because I remember when I first started, I was like, I could not make sense of why this keyword is exactly my product. Why is it converting yeah. bad? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. It's the data. Just follow the data. Don't think about it. Don't even look at the words. Like it, it's bad if you even look at the words because you start getting pulled in. It's like, what about, why is this? Oh my God, what is this word? And it's like, do, don't look at anything. Just look at the data. Look you at do. The you start getting upset and you start doubting yourself. You start doubting like, oh my God, maybe this product wasn't the right product and all that. Yeah. So you're a hundred percent right. You just need to look at it objectively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, uh, auto campaign two weeks. And then the question is most people ask, should I stop, uh, an auto campaign and move never. directly to a manual? Okay. Never stop. Okay. Never stop the auto campaign for two reasons. Number one, it's always discovering things for you. And even if you like, Oh, I discovered so much stuff. What about the new products on Amazon? How are you going to get those? only Amazon has access to that data. So if, if my competitor or if a new competitor launches today, he's going to be on page 100 something, you're not going to find him. Okay. And so how, how can I target that person? That person is like the, like the perfect, perfect pr prey, you know, it's right. the perfect, uh, like you go in there, it's a person who doesn't know how to do a listing. Well, uh, zero reviews. It, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry, but it's the perfect person to steal sales from. Yeah. And guess what they're doing? They're probably watching some YouTube videos telling them to launch an auto campaign. So they're showing up somewhere and then you want to show up there because Someone's going to click on them, the, scroll down and then see you and you hopefully have more reviews than them. So Amazon has access to that data. You always want, want to utilize auto campaign. Also to this day, auto campaign is still the biggest sales driver in all of my campaigns. I, I don't understand why, but to this day, auto campaign is still crushing it. Make sure you follow Mina on his YouTube channel, as well as his Instagram account. If you want more information about PPC, I'll leave a link to the PPC University in the description box below. I'll see you in episode two. Bye.